Visit to the Blessed Sacrament from the writings of St. Peter Julian Amard. The triumph of Christ in the Eucharist continued. Christus ab omni malo plebim suam defendat. May Christ defend his people from all evil. The Eucharist is the divine lightning rod that wards off the thunderbolts of divine justice. As a tender and devoted mother presses her child to her bosom, puts her arms around it and shields it with her body to save it from the wrath of an angry father, so Jesus multiplies his presence everywhere, covers the world and envelops it with his merciful presence. Divine justice does not know then where to strike. It dares not. And what a protection against the devil. The blood of Jesus, which purples our lips, makes us a terror to Satan. We are sprinkled with the blood of the true Lamb, and the exterminating angel will not enter. The Eucharist protects the sinner until time for repentance is given him. Of old, when a murderer was sought by the law, he used to take refuge in a church from which he could not be drawn to be punished. He lived under the protection of the mercy of Jesus Christ. Ah, were it not for the Eucharist, for this perpetual Calvary, how often would not the wrath of God have come down upon us? And how unhappy are the nations that no longer possess the Eucharist? What darkness, what a confusion in the minds, what a chill in the hearts. Satan alone rules supreme, and with him all the evil passions. As for us, the Eucharist delivers us from all evil. Christus vincit, Christus regnat, Christus imperat, ab omni malo plebem suam defendat. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as one who has already come and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Visit to the Blessed Virgin Mary from a month with Mary. Daily meditations for a for a profound reform of heart in the School of Mary by Don Dolindo Ruotolo. The 26th day, the transformation of the soul. Jesus speaks, He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life and I will raise him up on the last day. He who feeds on me lives because of me. Your fathers ate the manna and died, but he who feeds on me will not die. I am the bread of life come down from heaven. Here are the words with which I prepared faithful souls for the great mystery of love. Here is the meaning and the nature of this great sacrament of life. The human soul in contact with mine becomes transformed. It becomes one with me. It lives because of me. It becomes transformed not by an instantaneous miracle, but gradually and precisely in the same manner that physical life is supplied with food. Your soul too, my child, will be transformed into me. Don't be in a hurry to see yourself perfect all at once. The Eucharist does not burn sensibly. It was not instituted to give you superficial gratification, but to give you life. You must live from me, identify with me, Abandon yourself to me, and hence you must ex experience your emptiness, your nothingness, your inertia in profound humiliation. Even material food is of itself effective in supplying life, even though it does not produce the same effects in each one. One eats and visibly grows because the body assimilates the food well. Another eats, and with the nourishment comes the strength to avoid an illness, to prevent a collapse to expel noxious or infected germs from the organism. To these foods might seem unnecessary, but it is not so. 
I will change you completely, but I will not do violence to your nature. I will penetrate into you gently and virtually without making you aware. Do not tire of me. Always come to me. Never stop seeking me, because in me you will find life. The soul speaks. O oh my Jesus, you know my misery well, and you know that I am only nothingness. Here is my soul. I place it in your hands. You transform me. Bread of life, give me the life that will reinvigorate me in you. Bread of love, set me on fire with that love which annihilates in me what is mine and fill me and fills me with what is yours. O sacramental Jesus, transform us into yourself. The little work for today, make a visit to the Blessed Sacrament to attest to your love for him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Our Lady, Mother of Grace. 